Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're going back to Civilization. I know, I do this a lot. Simply because I want to unlock all the characters here. And, uh, first things first, we need to... I'm real tired of this girl. She's asking for so much every time. Eventually, she just needs to get better, okay? Because if she doesn't soon, it's over. My, my care for her will go way down. I just got a blue medicine. You drank all of mine earlier. Let's see if I have something better. Muyan Curry's terrible. Soul of the Pure is the best I got. Here, this is literally the best I got. Will you leave me alone? Oh, thank you, God! Oh, my God! Yay, I, I made an unhappy girl. Oh, oh, and the unhappy maiden, of course, of course. I made two maidens very unhappy. Oh, and I get a CPU dual opponent. Hooray. And now I just care about finding my metal friend, because the rest of these characters I don't want to duel anymore. Now that I've unlocked their CPU character, whatever, world championship component character, I'm good. And I don't think I did this guy's yet, because I haven't seen him that often, this, this, this uh, machine boy. The hell is he? I'm just trying to fight the machine guy, because he's the one that literally... Okay. Foxfire's here now. Fuck. I already beat those guys. They're done. I don't ever want to duel them again. You! You! Get over here! I want to unlock a CPU duel. That's all I'm trying to do here. Once I do that, I feel like I accomplished something. I'm even thinking about going back to the old worlds and doing that too. But first, I'd like to do this if you'd leave me alone. Alright, we're going first. Now, last duel, I did take it a little easy on you and I almost lost. This time, I'm not going to be so nice. In fact, I could even be mean. Who knows? I'm going to set this card. I'm going to end my turn. Oh, I forgot. They run Noble Man. No matter what, I should have played face up. Okay, we're fine. I got lucky. Um, well, that's a back row. That scares me. Do I have Heavy Storm yet? No. Oh, you actually got yourself. Impressive. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, it takes forever for that card to actually get good, but, you know, good for you. I summon Dream Clown to bait your monsters into attack mode. I summon Giant Rat to do the exact same thing. And let's find out if you started with a tank card. Does that card count as a gadget card? Does that trap count as a gadget? That's my question. It does not. Okay. It does not count as a gadget. It requires gadgets just the same. One gadget gets played, though, and we're going to lose some cards. Gadget Soldier? You know, if you played on the other guy, it would have been more worthwhile. Oh, oh god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they didn't have it. Wow. Talk about being the luckiest guy in the room. They legit did not have it. I, I don't even know how to feel about that. That's just luck. They didn't have a single piece of Exodia. No, I'm joking. A single piece of the card they actually needed. It would have ended this duel if they did. But they didn't. All right, you know what? Since you summoned your ace card in this duel, I think I'm going to summon mine just to show you the difference. I obviously only own two giant rats, so thank god it was only two enemies. Uh, I already have my freaking favorite card on the field, but here's my ace card. Amazonas Tiger. And yeah, that's a thing, but I'm going to stop it from being a thing. I don't care, sir. I, now, this is like the first time you ever pulled that card on me, now you've done it twice. I already showed you my boss, let's just end this. I activate Giant Trunade, just to make sure I can get through these guys. Um, I summon... Probably Swordswoman, she's just too good. Which powers up my tiger to beat one of them. Dream Clown will beat the other. Alright, Dream Clown, you kill one of their boss monsters. It's not their boss, their trap is technically their boss. It can go up to 3k attack. But, uh, yeah, let's go. My shine card has done good work. And my swordswoman goes in. Swordswoman. And then I end my turn. We'll see what my opponent decides to do. Probably go after Dream Clown if I were them. Because Dream Clown doesn't get prote protection from Tiger. Oh, I forgot they're going to play in our 2k Defender and Ultimate Offering. But, 2k Defense isn't enough. At well, now it's definitely not enough. But it wasn't enough anymore anyway. So you see, you fool. I'm going to play the Amazonas Fighter card. Which means that my Dream Clown card is now stronger. Then I'm going to play United We Stand on my Amazonas uh, Fighter card. And now I'm going to end the duel. Because I had fun with you, but not that much. 2300 go. 2300 damage shall be dealt. Swordswoman go. 
Very nice. Fighter, go. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. All right, good job, team. We almost lost because ultimate offering in that deck is like the most busted thing ever. Of course, I think it's limited to one in this game or semi-limited to two. I don't know, but it didn't happen, so we're good. We made some good cash, too, so that's good. Is that the fifth time we dueled? Yay, we did it, guys. And we got a new pack for that. Okay. For doing all... Oh, shit, what was that? Hold up, hold up, go back to civvies. The hell is this? This is a stone monument in front of you. Oh... Yeah. I want a, I want, I want a VW. Oh, shit. What the hell even is this? I would love that powerful monster. That would be awesome. Okay. Oh, I don't own it. I don't own it. I thought I was going to get it. I, I can't challenge it. I, not only do I not own it, I have no way of summoning it. Even if I even if I put everything together, I couldn't do it. So let's go to Graceland then. We're just gonna go backwards. All right, in Graceland we can now meet the Ojama Black. Huh? Who are you? Never seen you before. I don't like strangers. Get out of here. All right. Now that you've seen Ojama Black, you could do other stuff. You can go to Sunlight World. And in Sunlight World, you can go underwater. You can go inside. Uh, I think we're gonna try going inside the pyramid. I think that's what I remember from my childhood. Yeah, I'm just gonna enter the pyramid. I already did all your tests, buddy. Yep, there he is. And in here, you could find Ojama Green just chilling. I heard about you from Ojama Black. He said you were fishy. I'll duel ya. All right, bring it. Mischievous trio it could be a stall deck, and obviously, I'm not gonna make much money off of you since you're from the second area. Hmm, I don't like you. I don't like you one bit. Let's see what you got, though. I got a tiger, a rat. A vid and vid old vindictive magician. Sorry, my uh, brain shuts off sometimes. Oh, oh no. Oh no, if this is a stall deck. Oh no, indeed. Okay. Well, we can find out what it is thanks to uh, this card. We're going to activate Convulsion of Nature. What are we working with? Oh wow, I'm going to draw Jinza next turn and none of this will matter. Yay! <laughs> Drawing Jinzo for game. All right, I'm gonna attack. Hi, Ojama Yellow. You know, to make sure they don't heal 500, I could totally just activate my giant Trunade. But giant, you know what? It's fine. Just leave it as is. I should have set my trap, but it's fine. Life is fine. Yeah, enjoy your little heal. Enjoy your charcoal and Pachi, which you might set. Oh no, he built a counter. And you know what I'm about to draw, so for some reason you don't seem to care. Okay. Well, I highly doubt this matters, because I'm just going to draw Jinzo and summon Jinzo to stop your Charcoal and Pachi from being a card that matters. I'm definitely not afraid of your next card, Ojama Green. I can tell you that for free. There we go. <coughs> yeah, Charcoal and Pachi be damned. Shrink won't probably won't matter in this duel. I could just summon Tiger next turn and win, win the duel. Eventually. And I'll Giant Trunade at the moment that I see, like I feel like I'm in trouble. 2,000 burn does not scare me. Oh, I wonder what card they just played. All right, I draw. Not bad. I'm going to play Amazonas Tiger. We also have Chain Master ready to go. My ace card has been summoned. Uh, we will set Shrink. We won't need it, but we'll set it. Tiger, we already know what's been set on the field. It's all you. Rip it apart. Yep. Next turn, they won't even have a monster, but they could prevent us from summoning more monsters. Well, we could summon one more. So it's up to that. It's a problem. That would be known as a stall card. And that stall card will do a very good job of stopping me from winning the duel. So I will tough it up and just uh, do what I got to do. Eventually we'll get to their life points and then they'll never be able to stop us again. Another Charcoal and Pachi, eh? But that's not coming for a minute. And I will Giant Trunate that wave motion eventually and then it'll be a problem for them. But I'm not doing it until I'm ready to summon four monsters. Okay, Chain Master. What's next? Voltic Kong. Very good card. Okay, that changes everything. We're going to summon the Chain Master. We're just going to get rid of all the monster cards. None of this matters. Your monsters mean zero to me. The only thing that matters is that you've been healing this whole time, which means slightly annoying me. 
Alright, we got ourselves a sheep token. That's one of the cooler looking ones, and the orange one dies. It's like fighting the ghosts from, uh, what's it called? Yeah, from Pac-Man. Gotta get rid of all of them. Alright, we end our turn there. Jinzo already won us this duel, so we're just gonna chill until they decide to lose. Well, we already know what their next cards are gonna be, so none of this matters. If I were you, I'd do the 4,000 burn, because I'm not going to allow you to do it next time. Alright, that's the end of the duel. It's guaranteed. I'm going to activate Giant Trune. It would have been a little better if this was like another... Uh, this was my Amazonas Paladin, but screw it. We got this card. We'll make it work. I just... It's fine. I'd, I'd rather they draw Amaz uh, that green card. Yeah. If I have a choice, I want them to draw the green card. Uh, Jinzo, you're going to need to do this, and then uh, we'll start ripping apart their life points. Sorry, Charcoal. You did good, though. You are one of the only good level 1 monsters in their deck. Chainmaster, you're doing good. I just realized Volticon's gonna help them, not me. <laughs> that's funny. I'm a little upset about it, but at least it's funny. I kind of want them to draw green, but at the same time, I'm sure their next draw is just as bad as green. Oh, he's actually better, but that's fine. I could care less. So you just run a bunch of defense monsters, eh? And then some stall, and then burn, yeah. There seems to be a lot of characters. Not the defense part, but the stall burn part. That seems to be a lot of decks in this game. I feel like the creators just couldn't get creative with it. Or that's just the best kind of decks to make in this era. Which, uh, to each their own. I don't really like burn uh, stall decks. Burn decks are fun. The fast burn decks are really fun. But stall burn, look, we're past that era. We need to we need to all grow up and just enjoy real Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, so if I attack with Volticon, that should be exact damage, which means I get a little extra money. I need that extra 10 points just because, <laughs> you know, buying packs has been kind of brutal lately. And just like that, Ojama Green has fallen. Literally, it looks like he fell over. Look at look at his picture over there. Oh, wow, that was worth a lot of money. That was worth a great amount. I don't trust you. You don't have to. You know what? I'm already here. I might as well just get the money. Yeah, yeah obviously. Oh! What the? Have I never dueled this guy? What the hell? Okay. Um, There's a whole other duels here I didn't even know about. I used to use a deck like you. I actually don't know what your deck is, but I'm... I, what the fuck? Alright, that's not the worst, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna set this. We're gonna set this. And we're gonna set this. And we're good to go. Alright, what kind of opponent am I really up against here? I would not mind drawing two cards, but I don't need to use any of my cards on you. Unless I wanted to attack you directly, I guess, but Gyroid's fine. Yeah, why wouldn't I want to draw two cards? Is he just a draw power deck for... Oh, is he a deck out deck? Interesting. Interesting. Alright, I play the all-powerful Sangan. And then to show you why he's called the all-powerful Sangan, I give him United We Stand. Gyroid would be safer, but Sangan is the one I want them to kill. Yeah, Gyroid's fine. Sangan goes in. That's actually a really good play, and I'm not even mad. Uh, Rush Recklessly still wouldn't be enough, but I get to draw two cards, so I'm not mad. That works. And I get to search a card, so yeah. Unless it really is a deck out deck, this works out for me. Alright, Bistro. I paid 800 life points to get three cards to my hand. I'll take it. I got nothing against that. Um, A card in my hand, that would be good. I already drew Giant Rats, so luckily I don't have to worry about that. Swordswoman's pretty good, but I could search it. Let's go with Tiger, honestly, yeah. I want my Tiger already. And Gyroid, you're good, but you ain't good enough, so don't you worry. We're just gonna sit here and fight. Our first time fighting a Mimic, so I'm kinda confused by the opponent. Well, I'm gonna let one of those happen. I'm gonna let the guy who already killed one guy stay on the field, because I respect him. Even though I'd love to draw four cards right now, and I don't know why my opponent's doing this. Even if they were deck out, at this point they need to understand this is just not a bad, uh, not a good idea. Um, even though I'd like to draw two more cards, I do plan on going ham next turn, and then Gyroid could help with that. Alright. 
And by going ham, I mean we're actually just going to start beating the crap out of this guy. Like, let's get Tiger out there. And that's my ace right there. Yeah, there's my shine card. Let's hammer shot the opponent down. And let's win us a duel. So, we're going to let Amazonus Tiger go in. And we just did Dark Magician damage to our opponent. That's pretty tight. I'm all good for Dark Magician damage. The next question is, what else is your deck idea? Or are you just going to set yourself Dark Mimic level 1 so you could draw a card? Oh, you are a deck out deck. Only a deck out character would actually run that. Um, I don't need Twin Head. But I do need, I don't need Negate Attack. Interesting. That's a little too strong. Huh. Well, Boku, you mind helping me out here? I kind of need my monster. Plus, their attack still goes through, so I get to draw a card. Which, I guess, is what they want, because they're trying to deck me out. But at the same time, who the hell cares? Look at me. I'm as strong as can be. Well, we can just end this duel. None of this matters. I'm going to go ahead and summon you. I'm going to... Uh, if I gave them Gyroid, it wouldn't work out. I should have played Giant Rat instead. Big misplay. Big misplay. It's fine. I can live with a misplay. <clears throat> we'll do this the old-fashioned way, then. We're gonna freaking enemy controller the basic way. Change the monster's battle position. There we go. And, yes. Next time, just use Giant Rat. Don't know why. I, I, I was just addicted to Swordswoman, I guess. She just, she, she just, she tempted me. There's nothing I could do about it. I get to draw another card, because that was a battle with Chainsaw Insect. That's a good card to draw, especially if my opponent... I have 22 cards left. He has no chance of beating me. This deck I've made is a little too consistent now. Even the stall burn decks don't work on me anymore. So what the hell are the draw power decks going to do? Alright, let me set this card, because it's pretty good. This is like the first duel I've not needed to use Giant Trinator or Heavy Storm. This guy does not rely on his spells and traps. He just relies on monsters. Alright, well, and that's going to prove it, too, because he didn't do shit. I draw. I could find out something about his deck with this card. What is his deck? Dark Bride. Wow, yeah, no, seriously. Um, it could be a 2k defensive monster, so I should, just in case, <coughs> use this card. You never know. If it were a 2k defensive monster, I'd be very upset, so let's just do it. Uh, you go ahead and get in there to win us the duel. Oh, that's more than 2k, but because I played this card, I can rush recklessly into victory. See? I didn't even know they had Defender, but it worked out because I played well. And that's game. I also could have probably won just by Swordswoman eventually, but still. Swordswoman would have hit him twice and I would have won, but still, it's fine. Many ways to win a duel. I won the fastest way. All right, good duel, Mimic. I've never had to duel you before, though. I don't remember dueling you, at least. I definitely don't remember dueling you. You're, a, you're an interesting one. Oh, I get a card for that. Pharaoh's Treasure. Not really my kind of card, but whatever. Uh, let's just go ahead and head out of here, because I'm assuming if I found Ojama Black and Ojama Green, uh, there's one more Ojama we need to see. And I'm assuming they'll be in the third area, since they've all been in different areas. Let's see here. Yep, there it is. And it looks like he's having some trouble with Blowback Dragon. Help, a big bad monster's on the rampage. It's coming after me. Actually, a Blowback deck would be super hard to fight. Those decks are... That's basically Bandit Keith stuff, and that stuff is good. He's won a tournament for a reason. Okay, this is going to be a tough duel. I could finally play for real and not have to just, you know, co you know cruise through these duels. Just enjoy myself. No, I got to actually play. Uh, Convulsion's gonna help me by figuring out what my opponent really likes to do. I need to draw Amazonas cards or Giant Rat. That's my one weakness right now. Queen's Knight, the fuck is this deck? I did, I'm about to draw an Amazonas card, though. Uh, because I have Dream Clown, I have a better idea. I'm just gonna summon you, and I'm going to play Magic Cylinder to protect you. We don't know if they got Heavy Storm, though, so I'm just gonna end my turn there. Okay. Ooh, they run that card. No! Not Snipe Hunter! Oh my god. Oh my god. That's gonna be awful. And Nimble Mamanga. He's a good deck. Please target Convulsion. Oh, thank god. The AI's dumb. Oh, thank god. Okay, well, they're probably gonna hit everything now that I think about it. And I can't beat it with what I got left. 
It's just too strong of a beater monster. I, he got everything. He got it all. Well, at least I'm not going to draw Amazonas Archer next turn. Maybe I'll top deck a better card. He hit everything. Oh, that sucks. Okay, the good news is I can pop that if it's a dumb stuff. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's just not mess around. This guy's for real. Snipe Hunter's one of those god cards from back in the day. Damn it. I was hoping to hit something annoying, but it's fine. Um, just because it might bait out more. Okay, Amazon Archer's on the field. Bolted Kong, try to hit spells and traps if you can. This guy seems pretty scary. Or another Snipe Hunter if it's not limited yet. Uh, it's such a good card. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's just a luck-based deck, but... Some of the luck-based cards are known for being busted. Like Snipe Hunter. Even Blowback Dragon's pretty damn good. Which is why I'm trying not to let this guy tribute summon, which is try why I'm trying to kill him, but... It's becoming problematic. Alright, I'm gonna just summon Gyroid. Gyroid and you are gonna work together to kill this guy. Shit, I can't. Wait, can I change his battle position? Gyroid could beat him if I change it, right? Yeah, I can. Alright, it's a weird situation, but I cannot let him tribute. Plus, I don't want to deal with that effect. If he rolled a 3 or a 4, I'd die. Gyroid is built for this kind of a fight. Alright, there we go. Not letting you get to blowback dragon, because not only can I not beat it in battle except with Jinzo, um, it'll just pop me. So, screw it. Or my back row. Damn, he got another card. If it's another 2k defender, I need something big. Well, that might help me in the long run, but right now we... I'd even take an Amazonas monster at this point. Okay, Goddess of Whim is a luck-based card. It won't be a problem. Yeah, when they normal summon that, they could t possibly have a large attack stat, or have a bad attack stat, or have a neutral attack. No, it's it's a weird it's a weird card. All right, I'm just gonna end there. They're still in the lead life points wise, but I obviously have field advantage. They're just luckily top decking monsters to make sure I can't stop them from getting blowback eventually. Now they're running out of stuff. However, that trap could be a problem. So, because I need to play it safe until I have full control of the duel. There we go. I have an Amazonas card with archers. That's going to help out quite a lot. Let's just set this up. Let's go into battle phase. Um, Swordswoman could probably do it, but we don't know what we're up against. Let Bolted Kong do it. It's Goddess. Okay. Two Goddess of Whims in a back-to-back, back back, eh? And a trap card we have no information on. But I now know that they are bricked. <clears throat> they have to top deck a monster. So even if they do have a scary trap card, it doesn't matter because they don't have a monster card. All right, well, now that we've done that, we are going to just end our phase and see what they end up doing against us. I think I am uh, pretty happy with this. Shit, they top decked a monster. I can't believe it. feel like they've been doing that the entire duel. Giant rat's nice, but uh, we don't know what that new trap is. It could be TT, and I don't want to risk it. Well, it didn't matter. I can't stop that anyway. All right, well, I'm probably going to lose Voltic Kong or Swordswoman. Swordswoman can still attack just to do 500 damage. We might end up needing that 500 damage. All right, even if it is TT, what I can do now is I can set. No, no, it's fine. In turn. I'll let this guy stay in attack and pray to guy he doesn't get blowback. Okay, we're good can't force them into Amazonas Archers, sadly. Fire Darts does what exactly? Oh, it's just a burn card. Oh my god. Don't roll another six, please. Okay, that's eight times three, I think? I don't know how much it's times. Or it's just times one. Eight, uh, three, uh, yeah, eight plus five is 1300 damage. Damn, that's actually a lot. That is a good amount of damage. And I don't have a way to put you in attack mode anymore and I can't do this card either hmm and I'd like to giant rat but there's no point I could do this though also why didn't you activate roulette barrels effect now that I think about it you activate your burn effect or you didn't go for brute your AI is programmed to use roulette barrels effect right I'm not crazy you're a weird one ain't you yeah I can live without shrink I'd rather have Amazon Archers for if they get blowback, but even then I'd still be in trouble. <sighs> They're still stalling me. I need to get a card. I have some tributes in my deck. I have United We Stand. I got Old Vindictive. That'll work. It's not going to matter. It'll work. 
and I'm slowly burning them to death anyway. Okay, okay. Next turn, we get rid of Barrel. Worst case scenario, they get Blowback, and I can still beat Blowback, so it's fine. Okay, they didn't even get that, so that's game. Unless that trap card does activate, it's game. Let's see if that was the TT. I flip summon. Old Vindictive ends this duel. Could also be scapegoats, I don't know, but I'm just not willing to summon Giant Rat. I feel like I need an emergency out. Should never attack with Volted Kong first, that was a big mistake, but whatever. I his next monster, if I waited one more turn, he had me. Oh man. Oh man, that would have been a problem. Okay, guys, we did it. We took down the blowback dragon. He was being a jerk and we stopped him. Yep, master, you sure are strong. Keep jamming. Well, well, I've been watching. You're pretty good, eh? Kazaki! Blowback dragon really want, uh, wants to re get really strong, but I powered it way up. Oh my god. I almost got hit by a car. Um, yeah, I do these uh, on the street, by the way. No, I'm joking, but I powered it up way too much. It's been running a riot downtown. I was wondering what it could have been done. Yeah, I helped you out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no indeed. We have a whole new area to explore. Alright guys, we'll be exploring a whole new area in Civilization next time. But first, it's pack buying time. Alright, pack buying time. Let's see what we can draw. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit, I need BWXYZ, don't I? I still need floaters though. I'm not going to stop buying floaters. But I'm super excited to see that other pack. Alright, let's see. Come on, floater, 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 float me away. Yeah, I'll take it. Floater, floater, float. Oh, that's my first one, Jesus. I have like four Reflect Bounders, and that's my first UFO turtle. No, no, no. I don't want those copies. I want copies of floaters. I'll even take another UFO turtle. Come on, something good, something good. Ah, I didn't want that. All right, let's try the new pack. It's got to have something interesting. Good card, good card, good card, good card. All good cards. I'll take them. All of the cards were good cards. Let's see what else we got. Um, No, no, no. Good card. <laughs> Fun card. I got the card on the pack. Okay. Let's see what else we got. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Okay. So far, so good. What else do we got? You know what? Manticore is not a joke. That card's real. That card's a real problem for some people. Um, overall, good pack buying day. Overall good. So guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.